go again. You just replace the whole set of strings on your guitar with your favorite brand of strings and the highest string snapped. And if you're like me, you probably don't want to replace the whole set because they're still good and you also don't want to open a brand new pack because the rest of the string will just sit there and eventually rust. In that situation, what do you do? Well, for one, you can go to the nearest guitar store, like in the States, Guitar Center or Sam Ash. They most likely will have overstock of different strings lying around. If they have the size you need for your guitar, then they'll be more than happy to sell it to you. All you have to do is just ask. Now, you can also buy online because on Amazon, they sell individual strings as well. Like this pack of Ernie Ball is pretty affordable as well. Or the last thing you can do is ask around and through connection get this pack of 10 009 strings for roughly $3 and change in US dollars. Now this is not a brand that I'm familiar with. It's called Alice, made by Guangzhou Romance Musical Instruments. Uh, the branding is very interesting. When I look around, I couldn't find a lot of videos about this string. So I thought I'll quickly document this so at least you know what Alice is all about because they have strings on Amazon, just not exactly this model. Also, in case if you find this in your country and you wonder if they're any good at all. So the very first thing that I noticed is the artwork that they choose to use. It's got this very interesting alien figure. Uh, kind of looks like Victor Rattlehead from Megadeth. He's got wings that got little hands that's holding Alice strings. It's got tail that's also holding a pack of Alice strings and he's playing this like very interesting shaped guitar with a crazy head style. <laughs> it's just a very interesting choice. But what I find more interesting is their authenticity check. Because it's finally it quite ironic that Chinese manufacturers have to protect themselves from Chinese manufacturers. So I'm curious whether or not this uh, QR code actually does work. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right, I've scratched off the authenticity checker and it revealed a serial number. Let's go ahead and scan the QR code and see if this uh, checker actually works. All right, it goes to their website. I guess I'll have to press uh, confirm. The code you query of Guangzhou Romance Musical Instruments Company Limited is verified as valid. The product you bought is genuine. Congratulations. So it looks like it does work. Now for and giggle, let's go ahead and scan again because that's how you really see if a authenticity check will work or not, right? So let's go ahead and scan again. All right, second time scanning. Opening the same website, confirm. The code has already been queried at blog. For any question, please contact us via hotline. So it does work. Now, of course, the important question people are going to ask is how does it sound? Well, I only have one string on it, so it's really hard to really compare. But I happen to have a recording of myself playing just the highest strings, and that was on the Ernie Ball highest strings. I'll go ahead and play it back to back. I don't think you're going to hear much difference at all because it's just one string. The difference is going to be very limited. And from the playability aspect, it also plays very well, and it doesn't feel any different from my Ernie Balls. So I absolutely think they're viable choices. So what do you think? Would you try Alice string? Let me know in the comment and I'll see you next time.